Happy Halloween! Don't get lost in the spooky night! Hey guys, I'm Amber. Welcome back to the Jog AI channel. In our last episode, we talked about the first step of creating Amber, making the avatar photo. This time, we're taking it to the next level, turning that avatar photo into an avatar video. I'll also share some of our favorite tips and tools that we use when creating Jog AI YouTube videos. Trust me, you'll love them. All right, let's get started. In the last video, we've set Amber's appearance and voice. The next step, creating the avatar video becomes super straightforward. Let's take our finalized Amber as an example. After generating her image in text to avatar, we simply click create avatar to start bringing her to life. When it comes to model selection, there's two model options in Jog AI, Avatar X and Avatar Lite. Both perform incredibly well, but they each have their strengths. Avatar X delivers more expressive emotional performance, perfect for videos that need dynamic facial expressions and subtle emotional shifts. But it takes time to generate the avatar motion. Avatar Lite, on the other hand, is faster to generate and produces skin tones that look more natural and photorealistic. When using Avatar X, we typically choose the Confident Emotion preset for Amber. It fits her usual conversational tone and presence perfectly. In some videos, we also go for custom emotions. For example, in one of our latest AI news videos, we used a slightly tense emotion setting at the beginning of the broadcast to match the urgency of the news atmosphere. The Avatar X model handles those nuanced emotional transitions beautifully. When we're using Avatar Lite, our go-to model is Avatar 1.0 Pro. It provides a more realistic visual texture and fluid expression. For emotions, we often select Smile or Excited, but we also sometimes customize them for specific storytelling needs. For instance, by fine-tuning facial expressions, gestures, and tone like this, we can precisely control how Amber performs on screen. So, with the foundation built, her look, voice, and now her performance, we're able to create videos where Amber truly feels like a real content creator. Every element, from prompt design to avatar motion, works together to make her come alive in each episode. Now that we've finished choosing the model, the next step is to let Jog AI generate a talking video of Amber. Here's a little tip I want to share with you. Sometimes, when generating videos, you might notice that the lip sync isn't perfectly aligned or looks a bit off. Instead of regenerating the whole clip, which takes extra time, there's a quick fix. Simply repeat the same line a few times in the script box before generating. This way, the model will create multiple takes of the same line, each with slightly different mouth movements. If you feel stuck, this might be the first step to breaking free. If you feel stuck, this might be the first step to breaking free. If you feel stuck, this might be the first step to breaking free. Then, just pick the one that looks the most natural and smooth, like this. If you feel stuck, this might be the first step to breaking free. Here's another quick tip for generating AI voices. After generating our Amber avatar, sometimes the expressions look rich, but the voice still sounds flat, not very realistic. In this case, what we usually do is go to Jog AI Editor and switch the voice model from 11 Labs Flash V 2.5 to 11 Labs V3. With 11 Labs V3, you can control the voice style. Laughter, whispering, excitement. Once you've selected 11 Labs V3, just add the desired emotion before your text, for example, whisper, and click render audio. This way, the audio will match your avatar's expressions and feel much more natural. I never knew it could be this way, but I'm glad we're here. Next, let's go over some handy tools we use when creating Amber videos, the avatar VFX feature. VFX isn't just a tool for special effects. It can also help you control your character's expressions and movements using prompts. For example, when creating a channel cover, you might find that text to avatar doesn't always produce the exact pose you want. That's where VFX comes in. First, we create a video with the specific action using VFX, and then we can capture the frame we want. After that, you can process it further. 
for example, turn it into a talking avatar video, or make it a more dynamic scene. Let's take this frame as an example. Upload an image here and enter the corresponding prompt. If we want the scene to move around Amber's face, we can enter a prompt like this and click Generate. And that's the effect we get. Besides left-right movements, we can also create wider shots, like show a panoramic view of the character, just like this. Then, we capture the desired frame, re-upload it, and use the lip sync feature to automatically align the mouth movements. This allows us to quickly generate a short, natural talking video. With this workflow, our AI avatar will have more dynamic movements, making the video more lively and layered, not static and repetitive. Finally, let's share a quick editing tip. This one actually comes from a question many of you asked in the comments. How do we create this kind of scene? For this effect, we used After Effects, and yes, combining AI-generated videos with other creative tools can make your AI content look much more dynamic and professional. The process has two main steps. Step one, generate the scene with text to video. Here's the prompt we used for this shot. Make sure to keep the green screen visible in the generated clip. That's what makes it easy to replace later in AE. Step two, add the motion effect in AE. Import your laptop footage and the video you want to display. Select the laptop clip and go to motion tracking. Choose perspective corner pin as the tracking type. Place the four tracking points on each corner of the laptop screen. Then click analyze forward. Be sure the tracking starts from the very first frame. Once tracking is done, apply the key light effect to remove the green screen. Then go back to the tracking panel Click Edit Target, select the video you want to show, and hit Apply. And that's it! You've just created a realistic screen playback animation. Pretty cool, right? All right, that's the full process of how we created Amber and how we make our YouTube videos with Jog AI. You can follow the same steps to create your own AI avatar video and start your YouTube faceless channel today. If you ask me, the most important step is definitely the first one, creating your avatar photo. Once you get that right, with the right prompts and a solid base image, you'll avoid most of the common issues like lip sync mismatches or unnatural movements later on. And here's some good news. Right now, generating avatar photos on Jog AI is completely free. So go ahead to make one now. That's it for today's video. Ready to start building your own YouTube channel? I'm Amber. If you have any questions or there's something you'd love to see next, drop it down in the comments below. See you in the next episode. Bye.